Hi, welcome to the TVTrade.ie um, tutorial on how to hook up your PC or laptop computer to a TV. Okay, in this video we're just going to give an overview of some of the connections that are used. We'll have further videos in the series um, demonstrating in, in reality how you actually do this and how you change the settings on your laptop or PC um, to output um, the video and audio to the actual TV. Okay. So the first thing is, if you just follow the mouse here, they're the type of connections that are commonly used. We have uh, VGA, we have DVI, we have HDMI, we have RCA, and we also have S-Video. Okay. So the first thing here is, we're not actually going to deal with S-Video because it's it's a fairly old um, way of doing things and the quality of output is not is not great at all okay so we'll deal with the other ones um now okay so the first one we're going to deal with here is the straight hdmi to hdmi med and this is probably gives the best results and is actually the easiest to set up okay so um on your laptop or pc you may have a hdmi out connection okay now not all laptops or pcs will have this but if you have you should probably use this method because as I say it's the easiest to set up and it gives the best results okay so we'll say one end of the HDMI lead will go into the laptop or the um, the computer okay and then the other end will go to the HDMI inputs on the back of your TV you can see um, you know a, a typical setup on the back of a TV here but these will go into number one here um, which any of the free HDMI ports okay now once you have that done then all you need to do is change the AV setting on your TV to either you know what you may not have four HDMI ports but wh however many you have you know you could change it to HDMI one two three or four and why this is so simple is that once you have that done as long as it's supported in the, um, the HDMI out on your laptop or PC which the vast majority would it'll actually transfer the sound and the picture all in one which is great and very easy okay so that's a that's the simplest method okay now the probably the most common method used would be the VGA method okay now the reason why it's most common is that every single laptop and PC has a VGA port on it okay so that's why it's the most common. Not everyone would have um, some of the others, for example, like HDMI or DVI, okay? So the problem with using the VGA method is that if you just use the VGA cable and connect you know, one end to the VGA out on your laptop or PC and then maybe the other end would go to something like this on the back of your TV, which is the VGA port in, okay, which is just number three here, okay the problem with this is yeah it only transfers the picture now that might be fine if you were just wanted to you know surf the net or something like that and you weren't looking at anything that had audio attached to it okay but if you did want the audio you'd have to use something like this cable here okay this cable is called a 3.5 millimeter audio jack which is this to RCA which is this end here and you'll see here in this picture they're actually red and black now more commonly they'd probably be red and white and where this would go this end would go into your laptop or PC into the sound card okay now on a PC generally to be on the back sometimes they're on the front but um, usually they're kind of a green color and also they may have a little symbol for um, headphones on them okay especially on laptops they would okay now the other end here would go into this part here on the back of your TV which is the RCA audio connection okay now you may see here on your TV you have another one beside it that's yellow but that's just for video but we don't need it for this part of the process okay so the red would go in here and the white would go in here and obviously as regards this cable here the black would actually go to the white but the red goes to red okay and by doing that then you can transfer the sound and the audio or sorry the sound and the picture um so you'd be able to you know view youtube videos or things like that um on your tv okay 
another common method now this would really only be for PCs um, is uh, the DVI to HDMI method okay now if your if your um, graphics card on the back of the PC had a DVI connection but didn't have a HDMI well then you could just change or adapt the DVI to HDMI and run it to your TV okay now there's a couple of ways of doing this but both have the same problem in the end but this is just basically how you transfer the video okay the first thing you could do is you could just buy an actual cable that um, adapts the DVI end to the HDMI and then you'll just run the DVI you'll plug it in on the back of your computer into the graphics card and then you'll plug the other end which is the HDMI um, the HDMI connection that would plug in to one of your free HDMI ports on the back of the TV alternatively what you could do is you could get an adapter similar to here and you just see both ends of it here you'll have one end here that will plug into the back of your t um, of your PC into the graphics card okay into the DVI slot and then it adapts it here with a female HDMI connection okay so what you can do there is you can plug a standard HDMI cable into the back of the DVI to HDMI adapter and then run the HDMI cable to one of your free HDMI ports okay now the problem with this is that you're not going to transfer the sound by doing this you're only going to transfer the picture okay so again you need one of these 3.5 mil uh, audio jacks to RCA um, cables okay and again this end would plug into the, the sound card on your PC, usually marked uh, sort of a greeny color, and also it may have a headphone symbol. And then obviously the RCA connections go in here. So there's lots of different ways of doing this, and we will we'll have extra videos in the series showing you how to hook this up um, you know, in reality. But uh, that's just basically an overview of the connections used in hooking up your PC or laptop to a computer. To a TV.